Hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video I am going to do a reading for the weekend um, coming up today, <laughs> Friday the 7th of June, yes. So looking at Friday the 7th of June, Saturday and Sunday. So doing a tarot read, doing an oracle card read, I'm going to use Alistair Crowley's Thoth Tarot deck and I'm also going to use the Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck by Yasmin Boland. And if you like either of these decks, the links for those are in the description below. So before I get into the reading, um, how are you all feeling after New Moon yesterday? The energies are still here, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see some Gemini influence cards. But yeah, um, for those of you who missed out or didn't get to do any rituals on it, I did do a video um, for the new moon like a couple of days ago. So you can check that out and you can still sort of, I think you can still work with this energy around like the day surrounding the new moon. So it's not like you have to do it in that moment and it's over. Like if you can't do it in time, do it the day after. So check out that video if you are interested. And we'll just be looking at the energy now for this weekend what the energies are sort of ooh, talking about and um how to navigate it okay so general energies for this weekend please oh gosh oh, God. okay they're quite jumpy All right, that one wants to come out. Thank you. I'll show you in a second what I've got here. Energies for this week. Oh, gosh. Do they both want to come out? Ooh, these are tough. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got three pretty tricky cards here. Five of Swords, Defeat. Having a look at that, seeing what comes through intuitively for you. Three of Swords, Sorrow. And Five of Wands, Strife. Okay, so some of the most challenging cards in this deck. This doesn't feel like it's going to be an easy weekend. For some of you, it feels like... There's been some loss that's gone on, um, especially with the Three of Swords and the Five of Swords here. There's a real sense of loss, grief. It feels like for some of you, actually, that you've gone through something really tricky. So I think with this new moon that we've had, it's really asked us to shake things up. It's really asked us to change things. That's Gemini, right? But just because we're doing the right thing, I don't like to think of it as right. I like to think of it as true, the truer thing, the thing that our soul is like ecstatic about, but our human little selves, <laughs> if you like, are not so thrilled about because it does mean having to leave behind something, some identity, some way of being, some relationship, some job, depending on how this shows up for you behind and that can cause a lot of pain in our in our little hearts you know um so I think that there is some for some of you like some grieving that might be happening and processing around that and if that is the case I would definitely be very gentle with yourself um for some of you as well with the five of wands here this card often speaks of conflict inner conflict can be outer conflict as well maybe fighting so um a need for maybe having honest conversations this weekend, potentially for some of you. Um, knowing that conflict isn't always a bad thing. Like I think it's important to say that, especially like if you're someone who says, oh, I don't like conflict. It's like actually like conflict is a huge teacher and it's, it's a good opportunity to lean into the discomfort of these conversations. And actually on the other side of that can be huge healing. Like for example, you know, let's say it's a partnership you know somebody you're in relationship with and you have a conflict about something um again i'm not very good at examples let me try and think of something um like you discover that you have like a different opinion about something and then you have a discussion about it and then you figure out a way to navigate this difference in opinion this difference in 
perspective and actually by having that conflict and having that be brought to light and the triggers being brought to light is a way for us to heal it like triggers and they might not feel great (laughs) but triggers are important because actually what they do is they help reveal something in us that isn't healed and it brings it up to the surface so we can look at it and then we can work through that so it feels like this weekend it might be working through your triggers it might be working through a sense of loss or grief and like honoring that grief it's okay to feel pain if there has been loss for you because that is a deeply human thing to feel the pain of loss you know and to just I'm really picturing yourself like holding yourself, cradling yourself, taking care of yourself. Okay, so um, bear with me a second, sorry. Um, mm, 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 Yes. So the potential challenges of this weekend, I mean, I suppose we've kind of talked about that already, but let's just see what comes up. Ah, interesting. We've got two of cups, love, connecting, connection. Yes, this makes a lot of sense. So this card speaks of, yeah, connection, right? It's a Venus in Capricorn card. We've got Venus and not Capricorn, sorry, Cancer. That's the Cancer glyph. That's the Venus glyph. Um, It's actually, a right, this is so interesting. So Cancer is the mother, the great mother the ruler of the fourth house, the house of home, the house of emotional needs, emotion, like um, our emotions in general. And like, and this card speaks of balance and harmony. So this being a challenge, it might be hard to access this mothering energy that we actually need to help us through potentially difficult moments. Because this card is a Venus in Aquarius card again really hard to see on it but that's the venus glyph there that's the aquarius glyph there venus in aquarius is not a comfortable place venus in aquarius can feel quite like venus wants to connect venus is the connector of love beauty pleasure connection aquarius is a bit of a loner a bit of a lone wolf a bit on the fringes a bit on the outside looking in so this is a really uncomfortable place for venus to be because it wants to connect So there is something here about it might be quite hard to connect this weekend. Interesting. Okay. Let's have some good news, please. What's the best part of this weekend? What's the best part? Okay, we've got two here. Eh, Interesting. Okay, so we've got two of discs, change. And we've also got... The Empress, which is Venus's card. So that's interesting, quite an opposing um, thing that we've just been talking about there, really. So let's talk about this one first. Whatever it is that you're working through is going to bring the necessary change that is required for you to go on this next level. This new moon has been so much about um, leveling up about stepping into a higher purpose again we've had this going this theme going on for a while now and it's going to bring about change that is that is required even if it's messy even if it's complicated even if it's not always easy but it's needed and then actually with this the empress venus card we do still have venus um conjuncting is that right let me get this right (laughs) So we've got the new moon in Gemini and Venus is also in Gemini and they're conjuncting them together. So actually Venus is here to help. It might feel hard to connect, but actually Venus is going to be helping us this weekend. So maybe doing things that are very Venusian. So that would be like making your space look pretty is like a very Venusian thing. Or even like taking care of your own physical appearance is quite Venusian. Um, you could do things that just help you feel more at home, more comfortable, more safe. Yeah, I'm getting like a really cozy sort of energy this weekend of really, really taking care of yourself because it sounds, it looks like you've been through some difficult things, to be honest. Um, and it's no surprise because we have been pushed. Oh my gosh, have we been pushed so much recently? And it's all good, right? But it's hard. Our human part is like, oh, I, <laughs> this is difficult. This is difficult. 
Okay. So. Oh no, my cards have all switched. Hang on. No, we're fine. Are we? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> right. One more card, please, on guidance to navigate this weekend, please. Being very gentle with yourself. A few too many came out there. See if one comes back out. Guidance to navigate the weekend, please. Ah, saw that one before. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. And I was waiting to see this card at the bottom of the deck. I was like, that's the card. Right. Okay. Let's talk about it. So here we have my favorite card, Lust. Lusty Babylon. Going after your shameless desires. Always what it means to me. It's like, okay, let me try and feel into this because we've also got death here. And this, like I say, I was waiting for this card. All of this upheaval that's happened is for your greatest transformation. It doesn't feel easy all the time. Just because something, again, I'm repeating myself, but it's so worth repeating. Because just because something is for your highest good and you know on a deep soul level, like this is true and right for you and where your soul wants you to go, that doesn't mean that this stuff is easy, doesn't. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. And I think for some of you, judging by the, the top cards there, it has been difficult. So this is a reminder that your greatest transformation is occurring, even if it feels sticky, like the butterfly in this, before it's a butterfly, it's a caterpillar in a cocoon and it's all gooey and it's, ugh, and it's like trying to break out and it's icky, right? Um, and like, what I love about this is it's about saying like, but just be really brave and, and trust the path that you are on, despite the triggers, despite everything that's being brought to the surface, despite the pain, despite the loss, it's meant for us. And I know that's hard. I know my heart goes out to you. Our oh, poor little hearts, you know? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a few more bits of guidance from the Oracle deck to navigate, ooh, the, yeah, <laughs> New Moon Gemini card, think it through. I'll come to these in a second, I'll just get a few more out. Guidance to navigate this weekend for those watching, please. I love it when it's just really on the nose like that. Like it's literally the new moon in Gemini. <laughs> ah, so cool. Although it's totally fine if it's not the right card. Ah, those two came out. Lovely. What do we have here? Oh, yeah, nice. Love this. So we have, think it through, new moon in Gemini, as you've already seen. New moon in Leo, shine. This card is, Le sorry, this card is Leo's card. There is the Leo glyph right there. So it's Leo. So there's something about standing out as well. Like for some of you, it feels like a need to, yeah, like show your full self, is what I'm getting. Um, be bigger like not shrinking because of this this is a kind of shrinking energy and need to stand out mm, I wonder if there's more guidance come through for that and we've also got new moon in Taurus oh new moon cards interesting know your worth this has been a bit of a theme that came up earlier in the week as well and again with this card, it's very much about knowing, like, look at her, and <laughs> just, just tune into that energy. Knowing your worth, knowing your power. And like, yeah, for some of you, I, okay, I'm getting two things going on here, to be honest. 
for some of you it is about healing and integrating this newer way of being and for some of you it feels like you are stepping up now and all you need to do is know that you can totally do it and shine in doing it like not being afraid of what other people think is what I'm hearing as well like something about yeah like for some of you there is this kind of oh I don't want to like ruffle feathers I don't want to upset anybody I don't want to offend anybody and it's like asking you to not do that <laughs> um and to know that you are capable and worthy of the things that you are manifesting in this new cycle because I do think that it's going to ask us to be really sort of larger than life is what I'm getting we've got you know Gemini and Sagittarius is very much it's quite big energy it's very yang energy it's like showing our full selves being expansive being like communicative chatty um and then with the think it through here it does feel like there is a need for some of you again this is a different message coming through a need to strategize a need to get clear on some things we do also have the square um saturn squaring this new moon i know we've just had the new moon but again the energy still kind of there saturn has been a little bit of a sort of like <laughs> father energy of like we need to get clear on stuff we do need to kind of um ground some of this inspiration and like put it into action so for some of you it's about getting strategic about whatever it is that you're trying to manifest um what would that require what is needed of you um and getting a bit of a plan together and maybe writing some stuff out because again we are in gemini season and Gem gemini gemini <laughs> loves writing loves journaling loves getting clear because it's so like blah, 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 all over the place. It's like, right, let's get some stuff grounded a little bit. And just as an extra little um, tidbit, if you like, it's not in this reading, but just something to take away. If you are intensely feeling this Gemini energy, which I'd be not surprised if you were, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I would be surprised if you weren't just because we've got so many planets there. A really helpful exercise is to do something that gets you in your body. Gemini is all in the mind, all in the head overwhelm overthinking in its shadow form so doing things that are quite grounding like maybe going into nature like just feeling your feet on the floor we've got taurus here taurus loves nature um just an additional meaning of that card to help just sort of like integrate and like not be so like oh and doing some deep breaths as well just to kind of like if you're feeling yourself feeling a bit dysregulated a bit like all over the shop especially if you've got gemini placements you might feel this even more but even if you don't because there's so much going on in the, in gemini right now you might be feeling that whether it's in yourself or collectively seeing it in others as you can hear right now i'm speaking faster than i normally do i can really really feel that myself <laughs> so it's just doing things to help ground you and just take a deep breath you know get back into the body not so much in the head when things get overwhelming and difficult okay so i hope that was helpful i think that's everything for this reading thank you so much for watching as always i love you all so much for being here thank you thank you thank you and if you do like this content liking the video really helps the channel um commenting letting me know how this season has been for you how this new moon has been for you what's come up for you if you don't want to share that, just sharing, you know, just an emoji if that re resonates for you. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel, clicking subscribe is the best way to get more of this content going forward. Also, one more thing I will say, one more thing. I have started an Instagram account. I've mentioned it on a different video, um, but I have like no, no one over there because <laughs> it's brand new. So if you are interested in getting more content that's a bit different to this, similar but different, um, then the handle for that will be in the description as well. But I'll just say it here. It's at themoonlightoracle.co, C-O. Um, so if you want to follow me there, that would be awesome because then I can talk to you over there too. Anyway, that's everything. Thank you so much and have a marvellous weekend. Mwah. Bye.